Hello, I'm Terry Henderson and uh, I'm going to attempt to demonstrate how to install the, Lib the uh, Flash Player plugin from Adobe uh, on your Linux operating system. So first we go to this URL you see up here at the top in the address bar which is getadobe.com flash player front slash flash player. Um, at this point you'll be presented with this screen up. Your 64-bit users will have to go here and customize these instructions um, as you know as it indicates um, in the um, instructions at the link above but for most of us 32-bit users um, we'll go here and select the one of course if you're using uh, um, Red Hat or Fedora one of those uh, that uses yum or RPM choose one of those if you're on Ubuntu, surely you're not using 8.04 anymore, but <coughs> anything um, 9.04 and newer will use this bottom link and you'll get the correct file and your, and your um, package manager will automatically install it for you. Um, this is the generic method, method that will work for all others rather than the Debian and, Unic and, and um, Ubuntu derivatives or, or uh, Red Hat and and uh, Mandrake and all those. Um, this is the one. If you don't find your particular operating system uh, systems um, uh, install files here, you'll ch choose this one. This is what a um, Slackware user will use, or any of the Slackware derivatives, or many of the others that don't do not use those those other uh, uh, package manager formats. Uh, we've already downloaded the file, but there you would save it to your downloads directory, hopefully. And uh, and at that point, uh, you simply navigate to the downloads directory, which we're already there. But anyway, download your you CD to the downloads directory, and. Uh, ls-ltr will show you the last the latest file last which you see it's it's here um, install underscore flash underscore player underscore 10 underscore tar linux dot tar dot gz now all we need to do is is unpack this file um, with this command here now here we can use the tab key in the auto complete once you get to a portion of the file name that's unique. Uh, so this unpacks it and as you see there's one resulting file called libflashplayer.so. All we need to do is move this file to our uh, plugins directory. So here's the command we'll use. Now the tilde front slash will indicates the home directory. So the home directory and the path afterwards would be Mozilla plugins. You can hit the tab key and there you go. Now you move, oops, I'm sorry. Let me go back. I forgot to tell what file to move. Getting a little ahead of myself. Okay. Use the tab key of course to complete the file name. Um, okay that's all there is to it we move it to that directory and Firefox will use the plugin and um, that's pretty much it we're done uh, when you restart the browser and you be sure and close all of the parts of the browser uh, once you restart the uh, Firefox browser it will in fact use the uh, um, new Adobe Flash Player plugin. And that's pretty much all it is, folks. Uh, you can test it by going to like YouTube or someplace and uh, play some Flash video and it should work just fine. And um, um, that should do it for you. Once you've done that, you will have, in fact, the the newest file version. Now, of course, if, if you had wanted to um, compare and make sure that that's the latest one. You could use the diff command let's see I'll have to uh, 
unpack the file again first. Alright, you see there, we we do a, um, a command that tells us if there's a difference between those two files. Now, if there was a difference, it would come up and say the files do differ. And you would know at that point that the ver version you've downloaded is a newer version than the old one you still have in your, you know, your directory, your plugins directory. So that would indicate that, yes, you do, in fact, need to upgrade, and it is going to make a difference. So anyway, like say you can go to uh, some YouTube video to test, and if it plays, you know it's it's uh, working properly. Um, um, and and a lot of times when you have an older version, the full screen mode won't work. Uh, that's an indication that your uh, Flash Player plugin needs to be upgraded. Um, Anyway, it's, it's still loading, but of course it's uh, at this point where we pretty much know it's going to work. Um, I've got the sound turned down right now so we don't interfere. But anyway, as you see, um, the um, Flash Player plugin is working, and that's the way you would either update or, um, or um, install fresh. The Lib Flash Player plugin. The, the process is, is the same either way. Just reinstall it and it overwrites the file and you're done. So I hope this helps and um, uh, thanks again for watching. My name is Terry Henderson. Good day.